Brown-headed cowbirds are a blackbird species. Um, they are uh, birds that feed mostly on insects and arthropods in the warmer weather, but in the winter and in the fall, they often will feed on grain. Um, Brown-headed cowbirds are what we call brood parasites. A lot of people aren't, aren't particularly fond of cowbirds because they don't build a nest. They lay their eggs in the nest of another smaller bird, and then the, uh, the host, the parasitized bird, ends up often taking care of the baby cowbird at the expense of its own young. So that this whole nesting behavior of, of parasitism um, is an interesting one. And it may have evolved from the fact that cowbirds ancestrally in this country were species that lived mainly in the prairies and they followed bison. And as bison herds uh, grazed and moved, they would stir up insects and the cowbirds would, would feed at their feet and, and snap up the insects. But because the bison was a migratory species, uh, it's thought that one of the things that may have led to the parasitic lifestyle of cowbirds is they didn't have time to stick around, so they, they became parasites. They'd drop their eggs and then off they'd go and they'd follow the bison. So insects in the summer, but then uh, after the nesting season is over, the cowbirds would begin to gather into flocks and they would become very gregarious and they feed uh, at that time on, on grain. And in areas where they move into areas where there's a lot of um, wild rice, for example, or uh, corn that's, that's left on the ground, this kind of thing. Cowbirds can be a real problem, and because they're a very numerous bird and because they occur in large flocks, particularly in the non-nesting season, um, they can be a real pest as far as feeding on, on crops that are grown for human consumption. So it's basically grain, uh, particularly in the, the non-nesting season, and insects of one sort or another, mostly on the ground, uh, that that they get their food.